We got battery, mate. Right, we're in. So. <laughs> <laughs> we got two armors here look um, we need to bring these down along into the floor one into that one which does a flat that end one into that one which does a flat that end where Dave's just been having a poo I think in the toilet and singing so we've just been to top boys to get some because we're going to gland it properly we're not going to do what's on the screen now which someone else did at a new build we're going to gland into a switch fuse if we open that James we can show them and then we're going to put an 80 amp in there we've got 100 amp mains um, d-rated down to a well, 80 amp because the mains is over three meters we put SWA in and then that will protect the 16 mil three core that feeds the fuse boards so we're just waiting for Pablo to turn up because he's gonna come and disconnect this um, isolator for us and then we can put our new switch fuse in here and then the armored and the main tails will go into the bottom there so Look, meter fitters and electricians can work together, look. Pablo, don't turn around. Good job. Good job, Pablo. Don't speak. Don't speak. His identity is kept secret. Pablo. Kidoki. Right. We've got our switch fuse in. Um, what I like about these Luden ones is, see there, it's got a little kink in the din rail at the back, so these can't move. But I know another manufacturer, they don't do that. So when you make it off, it just ends up sliding all over the place. One thing I don't like is, is the knockout size, because I like to drill that to 25, it's actually a 32 mil, but it is quite a tough little knockout, look, it hasn't come out, I don't know why they do that, they should just leave these blank and let you um, drill your own, we've put our um, bonding um, strap there, we'll have it on a earth, we can earth him down to there, and then the true earth, true earth, not a true earth, but the earth CPC connection with the circuit will come in here, and they do give you a nice big terminal, look, um, and then we'll stick our 80 amp fuse in the carrier there, so we're going to bring our tails down and in to the bottom. Our armor's going to come up the side, loop over and in, and straight into that armored gland there. Out the other isolator. I'll blank your face out, Pablo, so it can't be seen. Yeah. And don't talk, Pablo. What do I say, Pablo? I'm just going to sweep out this um, gully now with this this thing here. I better get James to see if I'm doing it right. James is back, Pablo's gone. He's done what he needed to do, hasn't he? Yeah. Right. I'm gonna poke him up the old James. Put him into the hole. Like that. Good mate. Yeah. Right. Don't touch my snake. No one touches my snake, mate. Ah. Ah. There we go. Right, we'll get that. Push down a bit more. See how easy the boxes break up. Yeah. Be so careful. We'll get that cleated back at the bottom, nice. and then we'll do the same with your one, yeah? Yeah. What I'll do is I'll add a little video of us making this off. We've made a little video for TikTok, but we'll put it on here as well so you can watch it. So we cut our armoured in, he comes up here, he's going into the top of the switch. We just got to, we put that in there to stop him turning. We're going to put a big bolt on there, fly lead to the back box. Earth's going to go in there, neutral's going to go in there. And then our live's going to loop into the top of the fuse. So this fuse will be controlling this brown here. Flexi tails are going to come down here, straight into the bottom. And then this one is then done and we just got to do it one Again. more time, Pablo. Right, there we go, switch fuses in. As I said, meter tails come in the bottom bottom of the main switch once you uh, turn that on neutral is straight through and out and then the switched live comes to the bottom of there and then your 80 amp fuse will go in there live in the brown up and then it will feed the flat above 
Right, there we go. Switch fuse is now live. You just see it downstairs. Comes up to the board here, which I've done previously a while ago. Do we want latex? Do we want latex? That's that guy next door, isn't it? No. Um, James just asked if he wants some latex. No. So we're going to leave it off for now because we've still got look lights and bits of bobs. Client hasn't chosen yet, so um, we're just going to get a couple of the power circuits on, possibly one lighting circuit, and then um, there's a bit of power and lighting in this flat. What do you reckon? We, we haven't put bezels on yet because client's not finished painting, but um, we're also missing light fittings, which we've had to leave. We have to make safe and leave off. Um, but bed, bath, and kitchen. In here we've got all these spots, but we've got two that go above the kitchen area. Oh, you ain't done them? No, no, no. Oh, can you go and get get enough for this whole room, mate? Two, four, six, eight, ten. No, nine. I don't know why we didn't put one there. Nine. We always said, why didn't we have one there, didn't we? Yeah. We always said that, but that's up to the client, so. Um, and then power-wise, we can get on, um, <laughs> we can get on, um, a little bathroom that's coming along and then we'll put that one on shall we which is that one there it should do my light in the cupboard there we go stunning oh james that is super super sexy isn't it it is that's quite nice actually mate obviously we'll lose these shadows because the lights will go up inside and we'll put the bezels on, but as I said, pointless because they haven't finished painting yet. But not bad, not bad for a million pound flat, is it? Not bad, mate. Yeah, that's fine. No, right there we go. Thanks for joining us. Bit of a short one, but it's just a little thing of how to do a switch fuse properly rather than uh, some of the ones you see in the new builds, etc. Not just new builds, but it's old builds, you know. But this is the way we do it. Um. Have a good weekend and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.